In this video, we're going to focus on evaluating expressions with variables, fractions, and exponents. But let's start with the basics first. What is 7 plus 4 times 3? Go ahead and evaluate that expression. Now, there's two ways that you might be thinking of doing this. Should we add before we multiply, or should we multiply before we add? If we add first, 7 plus 4 is 11, and 11 times 3 is 33. But if we multiply first, 4 times 3 is 12, 7 plus 12 is 19. If you type this exact expression in a scientific calculator, it is going to give you this answer, 19, and not 33. And the reason for that is something called order of operations. There's a certain way in which you need to perform mathematical operations. Perhaps you heard of the term PEMDAS, which is very helpful to know the order of operations. Basically, P stands for parentheses, E is for exponents, M is for multiplication, D is for division, A is for addition, S is for subtraction. So parentheses has the highest order. Then come exponents. Multiplication and division are equal. And for addition and subtraction, they're the same. So towards the left, those operations have more priority. So comparing addition versus multiplication. Multiplication is on the left side, so we need to multiply first before we add. And that's why the answer is 19. Here's another example. 36 minus 12 divided by 3. So go ahead and take a minute and try this example. Should we subtract before we divide, or should we divide first and then subtract? Well, let's consider the expression PEMDAS. Notice that division has more priority than subtraction, since it's on the left side. So we need to divide first. 12 divided by 3 is 4, and 36 minus 4 is 32. So that's the answer. Now let's move on to our next example. What is 24 divided by 6 multiplied by 2? Should we divide before we multiply, or should we multiply first and then divide? Well, let's do it both ways. Let's divide first. 24 divided by 6 is 4, and 4 times 2 is 8. Now let's do it the other way. Let's multiply 6 by 2. That's going to be 12, and 24 divided by 12 is 2. So here we can see that we get different answers, so the order matters. If you type this expression in exactly the way you see it in your calculator, it will give you 8 as the answer. Multiplication and division, they have the same priority. So if you have a situation like this, the best thing to do is simply perform the operation from left to right, and it will give you the right answer. Another way you could see this expression is 24 divided by 6 is a fraction, and then you're going to multiply by 2, which is the same as 2 over 1. So if you divide 24 by 6, you're going to get 4, and 4 times 2 is 8. The other way to do this is to multiply 24 by 2, which is 48, and then divide it by 6. That will also give you 8. Here's another one. 8 times 5 divided by 4. So go ahead and try that. For this example, the best thing to do is simply to multiply from left to right. 8 times 5 is 40. And 40 divided by 4 is 10. And so that's going to be the answer. By the way, in this particular example, if you divide first, you're going to get the same answer. 5 divided by 4 is 1.25 as a decimal. And if you multiply that by 8, this will also give you 10. Try this example. What's 24 plus 12 divided by 10 minus 4? Go ahead and simplify that expression. 24 plus 12 is 36. 10 minus 4 is 6. 36 divided by 6 is 6. And that's all you got to do for that one. 
what is 4 multiplied by the sum of 3 plus 5 minus the product of 7 and 2? Now going back to the PEMDAS expression, parentheses has the highest priority compared to multiplication and addition and subtraction. So we got to work the operation that's inside the parentheses first. 3 plus 5 is 8. And now we need to multiply. 4 times 8 is 32. And 7 times 2 is 14. And now we can subtract. 32 minus 14, that's going to be equal to 18. And so that's the answer for this example. Here's a harder example that you could try. What is 3 multiplied by 4 minus 2 times 3 to the third power minus 2 to the fourth power plus 8 times 2? So the first thing we need to do is work on the inside of the parentheses. So we got to start deep within the brackets. Now we have some exponents. So what is 3 to the third power? When you're dealing with exponents, you need to think of it as repeated multiplication. Basically, this means that we're multiplying three threes together. 3 times 3 is 9, and 9 times 3 is 27. So 3 to the third is 27. Now what about 2 to the fourth? So this expression means that we're multiplying four twos together. 2 times 2 is 4. And 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. So 2 to the 4th is simply 16. So right now, this is the expression that we currently have. So we have 27 minus 16 on the inside. And 8 times 2, we could just go ahead and make that 16. Now, what is 27 minus 16? 27 minus 16 is 11. Next, we have 11 times 2, which is 22. And then we have 4 minus 22, which is negative 18. And 3 times negative 18, that's negative 54. Another way in which you could do that is think of 18 as being 10 plus 8. 3 times 10 is 30, and 3 times 8 is 24. 30 plus 24 is 54. Now, you can also do it this way. 8 times 3 is 24. Carry over the 2. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2, that's 5. That works as well. So now we have negative 54 plus 16. And if we use the calculator for that, this should give you negative 38. So that's the answer for this expression. Now let's say if we have an expression that contains variables. 4x plus 2y minus 3z. And let's say that x is equal to 2, y is equal to 3, and z is equal to negative 4. Go ahead and evaluate this expression. So what we need to do is substitute. We need to replace x with its value. x is equal to 2. So let's replace it with 2. And then let's replace y with 3. And then we're going to substitute z with negative 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 2 times 3 is 6. Negative 3 times negative 4 is positive 12. 8 plus 6 is 14. 14 plus 12 is 26. And that's how you can evaluate an algebraic expression. Here's another example. x squared plus 3y cubed divided by 2z plus 1. Now let's say that x is equal to 4 and y is equal to 2. And let's say z is 4.5. Go ahead and evaluate the expression. 
So we're going to have 4 squared plus 3 times 2 to the third divided by 2 times 4.5 plus 1. 4 squared, that's 4 times 4, that's 16. 2 to the third, that's 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. And 2 times 4.5. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times a half is 1. 8 plus 1 is 9. So 2 times 4.5 is 9. Now, 3 times 8 is 24, and 9 plus 1 is 10. 16 plus 24 is 40. 40 divided by 10 is 4. So that's the answer for uh, this example. Now, this is going to be the last example. So the expression is 4 times x plus y minus z divided by 3. And let's say x is 3, y is 4, and z is 12. Go ahead and evaluate the expression. So once again, all we need to do is replace x and y with 3 and 4, and then substitute z with 12. 3 plus 4 is 7, and 12 divided by 3 is 4. 4 times 7 is 28. 28 minus 4 is 24. And so that's the answer for this example. So as you can see, you just got to perform the operations when evaluating expressions.